Hello, good evening. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets for end of day's trading session, the Monday, 13th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the numbers, let's just uh, look at the US market close. Uh, pretty um, impressive, uh, continues the, uh, well, the rally certainly continues unabated. Okay, very, very impressive. In terms of the US uh, closing number, the Dow 142 points at 2400, up 0.7%. S&P closes at 23.28, up 12 handles. The NASDAQ up 30 handles at 57.63. Well, according to the NASDAQ 100, the cash market is slightly different. The uh, global Dow higher as well. Okay, so... In terms of uh, economic data, really nothing, uh, non-event really from the US. Uh, the only uh, real focus really was on Japanese GDP data overnight. Asian markets certainly higher, European markets certainly stellar, and Mr. Trump certainly hosting the Canadian PM. We did have North Korea uh, test fire a missile, but that certainly had no effect at all. I did expect that to have a knock-on effect and cause uh, friction, but that certainly wasn't the case at all. US markets certainly seem to be... Uh, unperturbed to any uh, type of uh, bearish bias okay in terms of the uh, Dow Jones if I look at the Dow here uh, certainly pushing higher breaking higher it just doesn't care at all it's just ripping higher regardless okay although having said that the leader the leader certainly is um, is falling back okay you can see the daily chart here we did have a gap uh, fill a region around the 9450 we actually pushed breakthrough oh, through that and we actually held the 9500 zone so in order for me to see or uh, to actually gain conviction and actually have faith in this actual rally i do need the dow transportation average to certainly break through in order to confirm the rally in the dow jones okay well, until then it's just a fake out so just bear that in mind okay in terms of the smaller time frames in the dow you do have multiple unfilled gaps below so again certainly is vulnerable to a reversal so just bear, bear in mind that that certainly is a very strong possibility okay given the fact that you're a potential fake out here you've got a gap gap okay and then obviously a gap below so multiple gaps that need filling now it's not exactly a healthy sign a healthy rally generally has a very few gaps from my understanding anyway from my experience okay when you have gaps like this that are unfilled market generally is vulnerable to ref uh, reversing and actually filling in those gaps so just bear that in mind okay backfill gap consolidation again before we actually uh, push higher so just bear that in mind okay uh, in terms of the volume on the daily chart okay it's more or less equal okay it's not declining so just bear that in mind certainly some conviction there but again i do need to see the dow transportation average breakout in order for me to really have firm belief in the u.s markets breaking through okay let's move on to the s p 500 now s p 500 on the daily chart certainly pushing higher again but again vulnerable to leading gaps one two three four four gaps left behind okay so certainly vulnerable to a pullback at any time so just bear that in mind okay 60 minute chart you have this uh, rising uh, uh, channel okay uh, again multiple gaps below uh, vulnerable to the markets closing at any time the pivot r3 certainly was taken out today the rsi stochastic certainly extremely extremely uh, into the overbought territory you have one fill gap below that 23.16 we certainly uh, hit a pivot high of 23.31.23.32 uh, well, so again very very impressive okay very very impressive on the S&P 500 on this move now again the S&P 500 move is not being confirmed by the Russell 2000 as always you want the uh, small cap certainly to uh, confirm the move and that isn't the case folks okay you can see here clearly uh, Monday today the market still failed to penetrate and break through and that isn't a healthy sign so just bear that in mind okay and you, you obviously have multiple gaps below as well on the Russell so again keep an eye on the Russell and in the gaps below so for my perspective certainly remains vulnerable okay certainly remains vulnerable to the gaps closing below okay so all eyes on those gaps below from my understanding and my interpretation okay in terms of the uh, S&P, uh, certainly an insight there. Okay, now let's move on to the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ itself, uh, the daily chart first and foremost, certainly breaking higher, but again, leaving uh, vulnerable by leaving gaps below, okay? 60-minute chart, again, you hit that pivot R3 resistance, certainly looking for a reversal uh, towards a close, and you are looking for gap fill below. At 52.28.
Okay, so watch out for gap fill below. That's my potential target. Now, the NASDAQ usually is confirmed by the biotechs and the semiconductors. Now, the biotechs, you can see here, certainly into resistance, thereby indicating a reversal. And the semiconductors as well, if I bring up the semicons. Just bear with me. If you look at the emerging market index as well. Emerging market index certainly into resistance as well, thereby indicating risk aversion. So just bear that in mind. Okay, let's go to the, um, here we go, semiconductors, okay, so semiconductors certainly weak today, daily chart as you can see here, uh, certainly in that bullish channel, but it's an inside bar, so you've had three or four days of consecutive weakness in the semiconductors, so, so no real, uh, um, basically lead higher on the semicons or the biotech, so again, bear that in mind. Certainly indicating exhaustion on the NASDAQ itself. Okay, so certainly looking for weakness on the NASDAQ. Also, let's look at the leaders. Uh, let's look at the app chart of Apple first of all. Okay, so Apple certainly in the daily chart putting in a doji. You have an unfilled gap left behind. So again, certainly vulnerable to that gap, certainly being closed. Okay, uh, and certainly the uh, the move itself, certainly from my perspective, and it's been quite a stellar move on the uh, chart of uh, Apple. I mean, you've hit a pivot high of 134 from 121. You certainly don't want to be adding up here. That's all I can say. Okay, certainly looking for a pullback. Okay, and certainly would not like to be adding up here at all. Again, looking at Facebook as well, the daily chart of Facebook. <clears throat> certainly looking very top heavy to me as well. I've spent that uh, a potential uh, topping tail. You certainly had consolidation and no real conviction on the uh, on the upside. Certainly a, a bearish day and a bearish close today. Looking at the 60 minute chart, again, you're certainly holding that potential double top scenario. No real breakout. You have one fill gap below. Okay, you have a key zone uh, below in terms of support. Okay, so certainly looking to move lower on Facebook. Okay, so these are the key stocks, the fang stocks. Okay, in terms of the uh, next potential move. Also, look at our alphabet. Okay, looking at a potential HS top, uh, looking at gap fill resistance, and therefore looking for a move lower. So, again, these stocks are all setting up for a potential break lower. So I certainly wouldn't like to be adding up here. OK, that's my interpretation anyway. OK, looking at the SPDR for technology, the uh, the volume certainly has been declining on the upside as the equity markets move higher. And that certainly isn't a good sign, certainly isn't a healthy sign. OK, looking at the um, diagonal trend lines here, just trying to draw them in for you. OK, so again, you have this rising contacting or contracting wedge type pattern. OK, let's just keep an eye on that in terms of the next potential move and whether or not we can break it on the downside. OK, so again, my my understanding is certainly tech sector certainly seems to be overbought. And certainly looking for a potential pullback. Also, the Nikkei, you can see a Nikkei into gap fill resistance, certainly looking for weakness on the Nikkei and looking for uh, risk aversion. That's my understanding in terms of the Nikkei. Also, the uh, Shanghai as well. So very surprised with today's move in the European equities. Very, very surprised. I mean, that's something that I certainly expected. OK, whether or not I was early in terms of my analysis, et cetera, et cetera. Certainly didn't expect that thrust higher. OK, let's just look at the actual uh, sector by sector in terms of financials. Financials and daily charts certainly being helped by Mr. Trump's deregulation. Energy sector and the daily chart still we had a thrust higher, but still weak. OK, you, especially with oil prices finishing weaker as well. So bear that in mind. Uh, let's look at consumer staples daily into resistance. Consumer staples certainly weaker and looking for risk aversion, given the fact that uh, consumer staples do make up quite a significant portion of the uh, S&P 500. Just bear that in mind. You have healthcare making 15%, financial 16%, IT 21%, consumer discretion and consumer staples both 22%. So you can see that they're quite heavily weighted towards the uh, consumer staples. So keep an eye on that in terms of the next potential move. Consumer staples here, industrial as well. S&P 500 industrials is almost 10%. Uh, daily chart certainly has broken higher, so you have to respect that to a large extent. OK, in terms of the next move on the, uh, the FTSE itself, consumer discretionary, we have actually pushed higher on the discretionary as well. So whether or not these moves can be sustained, that's the question. OK, in terms of S&P metals and mining as well, certainly looking very top heavy from my perspective. OK, certainly looking for a pullback here now in terms of this monster move that we've had. It's again, keep an eye on the S&P 500, see if it can continue its move higher. Uh, in terms of the next market move. Uh, the uh, the actual uh, US 10-year as well, certainly looking to move higher 
with the dollar potentially moving lower as well. Certainly something to consider. Okay, uh, let's just quickly look at the dollar index before we move, uh, given the fact that we have Miss Yellen obviously this week. Uh, dollar index, okay, looking at the uh, daily chart first and foremost. Okay, so again, looking for a potential HS formation here. Uh, daily chart certainly is into resistance, so just bear that in mind in terms of the uh, the US dollar. Certainly be helped by Mr. Trump's comments and uh, Mr. Abe's connection today. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens next on the dollar, given the fact that we have Miss Yellen. Uh, on um, on top this week okay so again <clears throat> uh, in terms of the markets keep an eye on the Dow transports and the uh, Russell 2000 if they break higher then it certainly confirms a move and the move is real if the Dow transports and Russell keep the resistance and fail to break higher then the move itself is circumspect on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus goodbye